Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Uh, so we're back. We're gonna finish setting up green science production here today. Um, I've set up one train for each ingredient so that we'll start to get materials brought in. So there we've got copper plates, here come the iron plates, and uh, a green circuit train will be along shortly as well. Um, the other thing that I need to do is to get Actually, let me, I need to get some power up here and get the refueling train set up. So maybe we can do that real quickly before we continue. There we go. All right, yeah, and that's all one network. So let's look for our supply train, our fuel train rather, and we'll add red, green, fuel with an inactivity condition. All right. Okay, so. Uh, moving on, we've got our belts being made, so let's remove these extra power poles. The next thing that we want are the inserters. Now, uh, for inserters, we need 5.3 according to the planner, uh, which means I'm going to set up 6. So I'll do 3 on each side. There we go, yellow inserters. Uh, and these also don't take modules because they're you know, finished goods, they're not intermediates. Uh, and the reason we need twice as many inserters as belts is because remember that the recipe for belts makes two at a time, whereas the inserters only make one at a time. All right, so I'll do a similar setup. Um, yeah, and I'll just use stack inserters, uh, just because these are going to be going so fast. I don't think a... I don't think a blue inserter is going to provide the speed that's required. Okay. Uh, and let's put... Power pole there on that side. Right. Okay. And then we can eliminate those beacons. All right. And I'll change these to 1200 as I did with the others. that and duplicate it over here on the other side. Alright, and one power pole there. Okay, and then we can get rid of these beacons. Alright. Forgot to limit these. Um, I'll limit these to one stack. I did limit these to two, didn't I? Yeah, let's do two stacks. Why not? Still not a whole lot. Okay. All right, so at least for green science ingredients, we are all set. Now for the green science itself, we need 14 machines. Actually it's 14.3, but I calculated that if we make it 14 instead and round down, 
that 0.3 only takes 2% out of our 10% safety margin. And I'm comfortable with that. So we'll, we'll set it up for 14 machines. So we'll start by just making a setup of two. Okay, and these do take productivity modules, thankfully. And they just need one of each. So this will be a very simple arrangement. Like that. And we should be able to use just a blue inserter. We'll limit the output to one. We'll put in, actually we'll put the power poles on the outsides to help cover the beacons. And we'll put a light in the middle. Now let me power up those beacons so we can get a good read on the speed. All right, 27 of each, and we'll double that to 54 of each since we're feeding two machines. Okay, and then we quite simply duplicate this a few more times. So, um, yeah, 14, so that's two, four, six, eight, 10. And that's as far as we're going to be able to go on that row. And then four more on the top row. So that's 14. And that's in the wrong place. Let's try that again. There, that's 14. Okay, and we need to get another power pole there. That beacon's not required, nor is this one. That one is required, and so is that one. And we need power over here as well. those. Okay, and we can also remove these extra robo ports, at least for now. Okay. So, that's everything that we need. It's ready to go. Uh, let's load in the bots and see what happens. I brought 500. I'll put all 500 in there. Okay, so the gears are doing fine. Up here we're having a little trouble keeping up. Then again, over here, we are we're green or yellow on everything, which is good. Oh. Yeah, it would help if I had these inserters facing the right direction, wouldn't it? okay that looks okay let's check our production all 
All right, well, we're making over a thousand per minute, so the production rate is looking pretty good. All right. Yeah, so I would say that we have a successful build here at this point. And we're not even, we're barely even using half of the bots. I thought, I honestly thought that we would be using a lot more bots because the, because we need so many plates and gears and stuff moving around. Uh, but it looks like we're, we're only using about 150. So let me pick up some of the extra bots here. Okay, so let's see if I can grab two more. Okay, so now we have 200 bots in the system. And that seems to be a little bit more than enough. Okay, so we got a copper train waiting to go in. We have 29,000 copper in the system, so that appears to be working as it should. Yeah. Iron is going in because we have less than a full train's worth of iron. Yeah, seems to be working well. Now, um, long term, I'm not sure if one train of each feeding this area is going to be enough. We might have to add some additional trains, but for now, it seems to be okay. One thing that does concern me a little bit is the fact that the bots are not pulling evenly from these chests. So I'm concerned that, for example, like if one of these chests just gets a bunch of circuits accumulated into it, the train comes in, um, these chests on the end might like we can see this almost happening here, they might get start to get filled up and then the other chests don't have enough to empty out the train. We'll have to keep an eye on it and if that becomes a problem then I might have to convert these to active providers and have a separate storage area. You know, so because uh, if, if any of these chests start to get filled, then it could prevent the trains from emptying. And then we'll have trains sitting here in the station and blocking the other ingredients from coming in. So you can already see it starting to happen here on the ends. These chests are getting filled up while the ones near the middle are empty. So it'll keep bringing trains in to get the total inventory up. The chests in the middle are going to be emptied out, the ones on the end are going to be filled, and then these cars on the end are not going to be able to empty completely. And that can cause a problem. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on on this system and see, see if that problem presents itself or not. Um, the other solution might be to hold the trains here longer. <coughs> Like instead of unloading the train when there's less than one full train's worth, maybe we can bring the trains in when there's less than like half a train, you know, just by adding an arithmetic combinator over there to, uh, to change the factor. But for now it looks good. Looks really good. We're able to sustain 1100 per minute, which was the goal, so. Uh, it's good to see when you do the planning and you put things together and then when it works as you expected it to, that's a very good feeling.
Okay, well, uh, we've wasted enough time just watching this <laughs> make a lot of science packs. Um, and these are gonna, we're gonna accumulate quite a few science packs here. So this will continue to run. Um, so the next thing that we'll need to do is basically repeat this for blue science packs. So with the time that we have remaining here in this episode, why don't we start to do that? So we'll move on to the next outpost and we'll start to set that up for blue science. here okay so I'm gonna take that blueprint that I showed you all last time uh, flip it over and I'm gonna put it down right here All right, so we need some train stations, I can see. Let's grab a stack of those. Um, we're gonna need a lot of speed modules and a lot of beacons as well. Oh, and rail. We'll go back for the rail in a moment. And we also need a few robo-ports. I am really glad I made a blueprint of that because that was so easy. Alright, so we need... Yeah, we just need rail and robo-ports to finish this up. Um, I also have a couple trees and rocks that I need to remove, so let me just clear that out. We'll come back for those in a moment. Okay, I'll put the speed modules away. I'll put the beacons away. I don't need any more of those. And let's grab a few stacks of rail. And what else did I need? Robo ports. Stack of robo ports. Okay, excellent. So, this is going to be Blue Science. I'm just calling it Blue because up here I just called it Red Green. So, that'll be the naming convention. Alright, so this is going to be blue unload. And this is going to be blue out. Whoops. Learn to type. This is going to be blue PAX. And this will be blue fuel. And these are going to be called blue in. Just double check that it's got the enable disable conditions, which it does. Okay, awesome. Mining productivity 30 is done. Uh, let's take a look at our bonuses. 
plus 60%. That is awesome. Um, ooh, we see a lot more biter bases over here. We'll have to clear those out pretty soon. Um, if I go back to the main base... Yeah, I can see that we've only got 228 space science packs left, so we don't have enough to finish mining productivity 31. Um, what I did here is I, I set up this train so with a circuit condition just so that it would stop going to the rocket base. Because at some point I had like 10,000 or so space science packs accumulated. So what I'll do is I'll remove that condition. And it'll start to deliver parts for the satellite again. And that way the, we'll be able to launch a few more rockets. And uh, keep that research going. Alright, so let's send this to green. Or no, blue. Uh, PAX. Get myself out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, I don't have my calculations done for blue, so this is about as far as we'll be able to get with this today. So what we can do in the remaining few minutes is we can blow up some biters. Uh, let's see if we've got the range. All right, we can hit this one, but not that one. So yeah, you can see that these, the bases out here, the biter nests out here are starting to get pretty huge, which is uh, concerning. Um, one thing that I need to do that I just realized that I forgot is I need to put some turrets in that. I need to put some turrets in the red and green science base. So I'll do that as soon as we finish this episode. All right, but for now, we'll set up a few turrets here to take care of the biters that are going to come after us in a few moments. Um, I'll set up some more of those, and we'll give them some ammo. All right, <clears throat> let's blow some stuff up. It's going to take a lot of shells to take out this whole nest. We'll do this in stages. Nice. See if I can actually take out the biters. Yeah, nice. Got rid of a few of them. All right, I think that's the whole nest. And I'm not sure why these biters are not moving around. That's a little bit strange. But as long as they stand still for me to destroy them, I'm not going to complain. Alright, now let's get this one here. Just barely in range. Okay, and then for the rest, I'm going to have to relocate. I might be able to get them if I go up to the... To my waypoint. Alright, <clears throat> as 
so now we basically just need to wait here. Yeah. So the first biters are starting to show up. All right. Um, and I can see that our time is up. So uh, I'll wait here for these biters to come up and run into my turrets as they so politely do. And um, I'll take care of these other nests here before the next episode. And then we'll start to set up blue science production. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.